Africa has the potential to be a crucial part of the solution for the world. With our massive untapped renewable energy potential, the world's youngest and fastest growing workforce and abundant natural assets, our continent has the fundamentals to be a major player in, th in the three critical areas needed to avert the climate catastrophe. One, protecting our natural carbon sinks. Two, greening global production and consumption. And three, removing carbon from our air. We know that the world's industrialized nations and fast-growing emerging economies will not achieve net zero goals within the timelines scientists deem necessary. This opens up huge potential opportunity for Africa, not just in limiting its own emissions, but in helping accelerate reduction of emissions elsewhere. This will not only help the world decarbonize, but it will also enable Africa thrive and grow. Growth, development, and living within planetary boundaries do not need to be at odds. A large young population that sees their livelihoods eroded, as was mentioned ably by Samantha here, and has no future prospects is a very destabilizing factor, both at home and, abo and abroad, driving migration and causing instability. Climate change is a global problem that cannot be solved in isolation. As pioneers of efficient market solutions, we all understand that compartmentalization leads to suboptimization. Failing to recognize and build on areas where partners and friends can be more efficient and effective together drives up costs and slows down transition and even undermines innovation. Our countries need transformational investment to build climate resilience, transform our economies, and respond to crisis. The world urgently needs to mobilize larger amounts of resources to facilitate green transition and tackle climate crisis. While I firmly believe in global collaboration, we must also recognize the necessity of long-term strategic partnerships. Supply chain disruptions during the COVID-19 pandemic have highlighted the importance of resilience. Growing global insecurity demands of us to recognize the power of meaningful collaboration and agency. I am delighted to discuss the potential that Kenya, and by extension Africa as a whole, offer along with our ambitious re resolutions to accelerate progress. The existential threat of climate change to humanity, and indeed, to all life on Earth, and I speak this authoritatively as a scientist myself, is now very well established. In 2023, for example, we broke many records. We do not wish to, nor can we afford to break again. The hottest year on record was 2023. The wettest in some regions, the driest in others. The first four months of this year have also registered record warmth, with each month being the hottest on record. In Africa, climate change is central to our development challenges. Kenya, as you've heard from my sister Samantha, is currently experiencing one of the worst floods on record, following years of devastating drought. And as these events become increasingly uninsurable, they undermine people's livelihoods and, of course, financial security. Climate change impacts have affected the lives and livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of people, occasioning losses in GDP of anywhere between 5 and 15 percent annually in our continent. The rising costs of adaptation are diverting funds 
from essential services like health, education, social services, potentially destabilizing our continent and the globe in general. Our electricity generation is 93% renewable from geothermal, hydro, wind, and solar. We aspire for our electricity generation to be renewable 100% by 2030, which is in just six short years. More importantly, we aim to expand our grid and electricity generation to power green growth to 100 gigawatts by 2040 to support a middle-income country with a green industrial and manufacturing backbone. When one is as green as we are, the challenge transcends a mere green transition. Our potential and ambition reach much higher. We aim to realize climate positive, clean growth. Opportunities abound from primary processing and smelting of minerals to electric mobility, clean cooking transformations, green data centers, and regenerative agriculture. You may have noticed yesterday there was an announcement of investment of $1 billion by Microsoft, G42, EcoCloud of Kenya, to build a regional data center in Kenya. That speaks to some of the opportunities green energy and green industrialization can bring about. 